these are some cabbage I have here. I dropped the seeds on March 6th. And I have two different varieties in here. I have the Copenhagen Market Early. And I have the Earliana Cabbage, which I also dropped on 3-6. These can take some frost and some cold weather, and they do better when it's cooler out. So I'm getting ready to transplant these right into a raised bed. Now over here in these raised beds, I have some other brassicas. And I feel like they've stunted a little bit because I started them indoors in January. Um, when they came out, they struggled a little bit. These, I'm going to just pull these off. But to me, they should have had more growth than they do these are also some cabbage here these are some broccoli i believe and these are some cauliflowers so i try to kind of see how the leaves got burnt because i didn't harden them off properly because we did have some really nice hot days and too bad the leaves got burnt, but that's okay. I'll just pop them off. And that's because they were growing indoors. Just going to pop those off. And I'm pretty sure they've already gotten acclimated to the weather out here. So they should do well going forward. I've already added some chicken compost to it. So I'm looking forward to them doing really well. And I do succession planting where I drop seeds every few weeks. And so I'm able to get a longer season with more production of harvesting these brassicas. Because brassicas do struggle quite a bit when it's too hot out. And I see how they thrive during the cooler weather. So this is why I prefer planting brassicas very early in the spring and later on in the fall and winter. These here I planted, um, these are some kale that I planted last year it's gone to flower already this year because they were in there since november of last year when i dropped those seeds but they spent the entire winter here and they're doing pretty fine i'm going to be eating off of this i'm going to pluck this off So I'm going to be eating greens from here, which I've been harvesting greens from other spots in my garden because they stayed here the entire fall and winter. Even the chickens were able to enjoy some of the garden greens. This is also from last year and the chickens are going to get to enjoy this snack. They just love it. Now over here. I also have some ceilings here and these I sow them outdoors in my greenhouse. These are different varieties of winter pumpkins. This one I started indoors in, I want to say in January. And this is all the good growth I got from this. I have to pop these flower buds off them. But I did also um, started these outdoors in my greenhouse even though it was cooler out. I don't have the date on it, but today is Sunday, April 28th, and this is how they're doing. So as you can see, I can sow these outdoors in a protected environment, which is the greenhouse, and they will do just as well. They're already getting the natural sunlight outdoors, being in a greenhouse here, and they're doing very well. So I think that way it would eliminate the process of having to harden them off. And that's a plus for me. So my greenhouse is just another investment in being able to grow my food with less stress of having to have them indoors, taking care of them, providing adequate electricity and airflow and all of that for them. They're out here in the greenhouse. I can simply open the window. Right there, there's one at the top here. There's another one here and there's also the door. I just prop that open and allow the natural elements to get to these plants so they can get acclimated to the outdoor environment. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next upload.